Well, hello. Let's just do a channeled message here today. No prep. Let's just see what comes through. Ooh, this is about changes and transformations. Okay. Ooh, the upcoming energies that are coming to Earth are going to be very transformative in a very positive light. Some of you might be feeling uncomfortable or uneasy over the next um, several weeks. This is allowing those negative feelings, essentially that shadow side of yourself, to come up, to be purged, um, to be let go of. You cannot carry um, light and dark Okay, let me explain this. So what I'm seeing is, is somebody filled with like, let's say half light and half dark. This has been um, what has been um, occurring on earth. Some people have more dark, some people have more light. So the change in the transformation, the transformational energies that are coming in is to rid um, the earth of most of the darkness most of this is interesting um and therefore um when these changes begin to flood the earth um beginning around april 8th uh this has to do with the solar eclipse um when these transformations when this new energy this transformational energy begins to flood the earth um it will be noticeable to people who are very discerning what is happening, but people who aren't aware or discerning uh, might be trapped in chaotic energies for quite some time. Silent energies are moving in to the earth plane So people cannot release this darkness in themselves if they are unaware of it. This is why it might feel quite uncomfortable over the next several weeks, even extending into months, if you refuse, if you stubbornly refuse to become aware, um, to look inward. If you are aware, if you have already been doing the work, you still might feel some disruptive energies and disturbance, but this is to help shake loose that last bit of dark energy, that dark vibrational energy that you have been carrying. This is essentially a move from 3D to 5D, lower vibrational energies are rampant in 3D, but they are not existent in 5. The change in transformational energies that are flooding in are here to assist us in moving to the fifth dimension. This is basically timeline jumping. Chaotic energies that are flooding the 3D world will not affect those who are living in the 5D. Perhaps I should delve deeper into this so you can truly understand what this means. We are coexisting <clears throat> on Earth together as one. We are one. However, the vibration, the vibrational frequency in which you sit, stay, live, separates the people. <clears throat> it separates us in our life experiences. So, for example, if you were living in 3D, 
which allows for a bad lower frequency vibrational energies, you might experience chaotic, destructive forces over the next several months and years and beyond. Those who are living in 5D, separated from the 3D, will not experience or even have an exchange with the lower vibrational energies once this new transformational energy has come in and removed it from our light bodies. So if there is chaotic, destructive forces that are affecting the 3D, the people living in the 3D, those in 5D will not be affected in this way because they literally won't see it happening. We will be living in two separate worlds within the same world. An example of this comes to my mind right now. I'm just going to tell you, um, stepping aside from this channeling, I, when I raise my vibration, have had two instances of people speaking and saying things to me that were negative or lower, but I couldn't even hear them. It, I, I couldn't, it was as if a foreign language was being spoken to me. So I didn't hear or receive anything that they said. And the only reason that I knew that they were saying something that was lower vibration was because somebody else didn't tell me what they said, but made a comment about what was said in one of the circumstances. Otherwise I was unaware. So have you ever seen somebody, let's say, and there's something going on in their life and you're like, how do they not see that this is happening? It's that. They actually don't see it because they are unaware of it. And anything that we are unaware of, we cannot see. So when these changes in these transformational energies start flooding the earth, those who are resonating, let's say in the fourth dimension, we've let go of some and we have not let go of it all, will be lifted up higher and higher and higher and higher. I'm even seeing six, seven, eight and beyond. Those who are unaware and don't feel bad for these people, they have been chosen for this to happen. This is for their soul's progression. You must remember, it is problematic to think because it causes lower vibrational energies. It is problematic to think that these changes and these transformations should be happening to everybody. Each soul is an individual. We are all developing at our own pace and rate. And yet we are all doing it together as a collective, as one solid unit. So those who have chosen, they made a choice to stay in the 3D because perhaps it felt more comfortable this go around. Those who have chosen the chaos, the chaotic energies, the destruction, the destructive transformational energies, this is good for them. They need this. Don't worry about them. Keep your vibration high. These transformational energies that are pouring in on April 8th are going to cause a massive shift in the world on our earth as a global unit, a 
massive shift. At a soul level, you will be very aware of this. It will be a very welcome thing. On an earthly body level, some people may be very afraid of the destruction that is coming in. Oh, that gave me a headache to say that. It is our job as light workers. Oh. In a minute here, so this chaos and destruction that is befalling our earth is meant to befall our earth. It has purpose. So don't be afraid of it. It's happening because this causes an upliftment of spirit afterwards. It's needed. It's necessary. I would not be speaking about this if it wasn't important. This is very important. Uplift your energy during this time of destruction. Uplift it. It is very important to keep your vibrational energy high. Us light workers are holding the grid. This might be why you feel alone and why they're, why you're here and they're 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 here, and they're here but we're not all together yet because we're holding the grid. This is important. If you are a light worker, it is important to do your job at this time, which is to have high frequency vibrational energy emitting from you, which is pure love. End of story. Emit high frequency pure love and the chaotic energies around you will be subdued and you will be under the protection of that divine truth and love. Some people will be so scared. Just know that what others are feeling, you do not have to absorb it as well. We are different. We were chosen. We have come here for a purpose. Enlightenment is to follow the upheaval. All of it has purpose. Has been done, created with purpose. Just know that. It's important to know that. People might say, oh, this awful thing is happening. Just remember, it's happening for a purpose. Just remember this. When we talk about lifting your vibration higher, it's about becoming aware of yourself so that those dark parts inside of you can be exposed to the light and therefore transmuted by the light. What we ignore, what we don't want to address and confront will stay and hide and remain dormant. Let it be exposed. Then through that exposure, the light can come in and transmute those energies and bring light to those places changed energy is what will occur. We will not be stuck in this transition, this change period of change forever. It won't last forever. 
might feel like it, but it's not going to be forever. It's being in the past. <sighs> Heightened energies will flow in and this will help make that transformational change more rapid. Know that you are protected by the divine during this and that we will not be abandoned by the pure love that exists in everything and everyone. Hmm. That's the end of the message here today. So thanks for that. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe. Um, I don't know, all the things. Share with a friend. I love you guys. Thanks for being here today and happy Good Friday.